Hi, I'm Jackie with Peer Trainer. And Habib got out the camera because we were just having this conversation. I was telling him how I had just gotten an email from someone who said, you know, you send out a lot of tips of how to cure your cravings. And one thing that really helped me was the day that I realized that my addiction to chocolate or cupcakes or whatever it was, was actually the same as being addicted to heroin or being addicted to cocaine. And I would never just have a little bit of cocaine, you know, if I was craving a cupcake. When it, in my mind, when I made the shift, when it became an illegal substance, it became something that no longer had power over me because I know that I would never do cocaine. It's just absolutely, there's a, there's a wall there, there's a line. Mm -hmm. And suddenly what happened was she started to think about how the sugar and some of the really bad snacks that she had almost had control over her was exactly the same as making her feel the same, making her depressed. It, it, almost the same results that would happen as if she had a cocaine habit. And for her, the shift was profound because there are totally people out there that can just have a cupcake and not even think about it. Have a cup of coffee with lots of cream and sugar and you know, it's an indulgence, whatever. But there are certain people... The occasional line of Coke. <laughs> okay, joke, kidding, kidding. <laughs> there are certain people that really have a food addiction. And when it's like, hey, little girl, want some? It's very hard to say no. And even thoughts, even an email that can come to you, right? Yeah. Just even with the suggestion of a little tiny low calorie cocaine. And so I want to, I'm, I'm asking you, um, this is why we're making this video. I want to know what you think. Do you think it's possible to just have a little cocaine or a little low calorie cocaine if you started to thinking, thinking as your sugar as really hard drug? Now, let me just emphasize again. I'm not saying that everybody has this. What I'm saying is, you know, from what we've observed, there's kind of two types of people. Some people, you know, can just have something and it's not a big deal. And some people really do have some that. Some people struggle with sugar big time. And they have a big real time. fierce addiction to maybe a food that they perceive has an emotional value or sugar or just something that's actually messing with their chemicals. And when you think about it, if it is messing with your chemistry, it's the same thing that it that that a you know chocolate cupcake would. So we just made this video just to ask you what you think. We're going to actually attach a survey to this because we really want to know what you think in terms you know what you think about this. What bucket you're in, kind of thing. Exactly. Yeah.